Hello, my name is Colin Doyle. I'm a senior SC at Juniper Networks, and today I'm going to be upgrading my SRX 340 cluster. The process I'll be using can be used on any non-dual RE cluster firewall appliance sold by Juniper. This hardware includes our branch SRX 300 line, SRX 1500, and anything in the SRX 4000 series. This process can be found online. It involves loading code onto both cluster node members, staging the code, and then rebooting both boxes at the same time. Using this method, your outage window is the amount of time it takes for the SRXs to reboot. If you need to upgrade using minimal downtime, there is a method for this. It is not in the scope of this conversation, but it does work. I've used it. The outage is about 30 seconds. It does take more staging and requires you to split the cluster, isolating one device out of band and upgrading it, and then moving either physically or logically links to upgrade the other device and then reforming the cluster. More steps, more time, but it does work. One other bit of useful information that I want to share is how you copy files between nodes. There is a link for that. I'll leave it in the description of this video. There's a couple different ways to get code onto a box. You can use a USB stick. You can download it directly from the internet. That method's actually pretty cool if you've got a device that's either in band or out of band has access to the internet. When you get to this point in downloading the software, you can copy this link and then follow these instructions to copy the file directly to the box. In some cases, you might only be able to get the file onto one box. Usually if you're downloading, you're going to be able to get that file downloaded directly onto your active cluster member, and you'll have to copy it to your backup cluster member, which is where the instructions on how to copy files between cluster members is useful. In the interest of time, I've already loaded the code onto these boxes. I'll show that to you here. I'm logged in as root, which means that my default uh, login prompt is the shell. If you're logged in as a different user, you will have to use the start shell command from Junos to reach the shell. I've put the file in var slash temp. We can see it here. I'm upgrading to 19.3 R2. Switch over to the other node. You can see that I've got that here as well. So I'm going to check the cluster status just to make sure everything looks healthy. You can do this from either member, and that looks OK. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start the upgrade process. We do that by doing request system software add slash var slash temp file name. Uh, oh, we got the configuration there too. There we go. Uh, no copy and unlink. And there's details about what this means here. I'm also going to add the no validate command. Um, this is the validation check against the configuration that is done by the new code prior to the staging completing. I'm doing it here because it saves time. I would recommend that you leave. You don't add this bit of command when you're doing your upgrade, unless you've been instructed to. Oh, and I can actually just start that. All right. This will take a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and fast forward, and I'll come back when we're ready for our reboot. All right. We are all set. So we want to time these reboots close to each other. They don't obviously need to be exactly the same. Request system boot. Now, if you're moving a console cable back and forth between these two, that's fine. I'd reboot uh, node one. Uh, pardon me, node zero, the node that you want to be active first and then just reboot the next one second. Yes. Yes. All right. And now we wait again. I'll see you when these are restarted.
And hey, we're back. Probably a few things still going on in the background here. But we can see that we have upgraded. And there's one more step we need to take because this does have a dual boot partition. That is that we need to ensure that we've got the same version of code on both boot partitions. If you don't do that, then you run the risk of having you know, power loss or some other kind of event that causes the device to boot into that secondary partition and into the old version of code. And trust me, you don't want that. Particularly if both boxes don't reboot into the same code at the same time, then you'll have a broken chassis and you'll be off on your code. Oh, you almost got my dumb lab password there. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're in hold right now, and that just indicates that the chassis cluster is stabilizing. There's a hold down timer to prevent flaps. And once that hold down timer has expired, uh, the cluster will go into a primary secondary state. We don't need to wait for that to do run this command here. Request uh, system uh, snapshot slice alternate. Let's just make sure the other one's up. Good. <clears throat> this will run. Uh, I'm not going to wait for it. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It also doesn't interfere with the operation of the device. Uh, but all we're waiting for at this point is just going to be another prompt. So that's it. That's the process. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments or reach out to me directly. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.